In this video, we will demonstrate the I2S protocol trigger. Using the protocol trigger makes it easier to trigger a particular I2S command. We'll start by creating a bus. Then in the menu Acquisition, select Protocol Trigger. The interface is divided into several indexes. More on that later. In the first index, we are going to define our command. Each element of the I2S command is configurable. In this example, we would like to trigger the value 080A on the left. and 0406 on the right. At the bottom of the dialog box, there is a preview area showing a summary of the command we've just defined. Let's click on Capture. We can see we have correctly triggered on the command defined in the protocol trigger menu. Going back to the protocol trigger dialog. As we said, it is divided into seven indexes. So far, we have only used one. But if we open the second index, we see it is possible to define another command, all of them forming a sequence. Thus, it is possible to trigger a sequence of seven pairs of left and right commands. For the purpose of the demonstration, let's add a second command in our sequence. We set the left channel at the value 10, 12, and the right channel at the value 0C, 0E and we click on capture. That was a demonstration of the I2S protocol trigger.